What's going on guys? Yes, it is Friday here on Vlogging Life. I uh, made a coffee today, but we had a bit of a problem. See all the green and grime and yeah, those new coffee pods are not exactly awesome. I was kind of hoping they were going to be good, but man, they're um, like, you know, a traditional Keurig K cup is like a plastic cup where you have tinfoil on the top and you put it into your machine, you slam it down and it pokes a hole in the bottom so that when the hot water goes through the K cup, it comes at the bottom all coffee nated these pods are like the top is plastic the bottom's a tea bag i had one explode on me i got as much of the coffee out as possible using strainers but it wasn't enough there's still grains in it so i've been chewing my coffee today hasn't exactly been that great i'm also running on uh what does fitbit say not much sleep guys i've been up since nine it's currently one i've just been well i'm gonna say i've been up since 10 but uh it's currently one in the afternoon and according to Fitbit, I only had three hours and 40 minutes. Correction, it just, wait, is this, what's this thing doing? It just changed from three hours and 40 to three hours and 12, oh, three hours and 40. So I, I slept for three hours and 12 minutes and then I was awake for 28 minutes. Son of a bitch, eh? So, not exactly a lot of sleep today, but that's okay. We'll do what we can. We still got another, what was that? Still got another two days off after today. So we got plenty of time to get shit did, which is good because, um, I'm figuring out my phone here. Which is good because there's something else that I want to do. That there is this. I was debating on buying one of these, mainly because I have um, this Acer over here that I have connected to this TV, which I use for streaming all my movies and, and Netflix and stuff when I'm up here and I just want to watch Netflix rather than having it plugged into my main computer and using three monitors on this computer, which doesn't have that much horsepower. I just use a separate computer for that. This here air mouse to control said computer. I showed this before. It's an Amazon Air Mouse. You just move it around and it moves your cursor, kind of like a Wiimote. What I wanted to do was get that lap... See how I never opened the screen on that laptop or used the keyboard or mouse? I was thinking about getting one of these and then putting it behind the television and mounting the laptop up back there so that it was off the actual desktop, giving me some more real estate down here to put stuff back into the cubby hole. However, a $30 thing, and if you look at it, pretty basic like with a two by four or even just a piece of plywood and a couple of uh, uh two by twos you could just build something to do this job so that's something else i want to do is make my own laptop vertical stand so i can get the old acer uh off of the desk and put it behind the tv i was also thinking it's hard to see back here but on the back of the tv it's got vesin mounts and if you look down there's cables and shit in the way but i was also thinking about doing something like what like on this acer monitor for instance consider this here the back of the tv a building a bracket with that perforated steel i have out in the garage and put in like a kind of like a cradle on it so i could just kind of slide the laptop into the back of the tv that way there wherever the tv goes the laptop's with it you just got to make sure the laptop has power and then it should work right at least that's my theory i'm not sure how much room i have back here but i do have room on this desk where i could easily uh clear out some shit throw some stuff in the garbage and then uh yeah just put the laptop up here and call it a day like i said i just want it off my desk hell i could probably just put the laptop up there and that would be fine but i'd, I'd like to try and build a vertical mount i got some wood in the garage i got some shit that i can use to easily make it the other option is is if i really didn't feel like building anything excuse me keep going just stops halfway down the stairs and just looks at me like no, no i'm still coming bud there's only one direction to go i got uh this old lid to um a server tower that i had way back in the day dad's buddy at work painted it but painted it the same color as his mercedes that he resprayed same guy who painted my tempo back in the day i could just cut this like cut a chunk off take my uh angle grinder and do like a slit here like like let's say I, I cut this much off per se and then from here I just like cut a chunk out cut it down a bit cut it down a bit and then call it a day file it sand it make it smooth so you don't cut yourself on it done got a laptop holder oh yeah it's campers the question is is, is that a good idea hey is that a good idea is that all you know how to do is flop Hey, is that all you know how to do? 
Jesus. You're such a menace. You're such a menace. Who's a menace? Sniff, sniff. Meow. Who's a little cat? Oh, look at the little cat. Oh, look at the little cat. Look at the little cat. I can fit your whole head in my hand. Because you're just a little cat. So I'm sure I could figure something out to get the job done. Oh man, last night though. I think the reason why I didn't get much sleep is because I... At uh, 12.30, I decided, you know what? I want to go have a shower. And I don't like showering just for the sake of showering. I'm like, before I go for a shower, I'm going to jump on the bike and do some hit. I think that's why I didn't sleep that well last night. Because even right now, my heart... Well, that's not too bad. I'm at 95 BPM. That's not too bad. But anyway, stuff we need to do today. I'm going to disconnect this computer, take it outside, clean it up. I'm going to clean up whatever I can here. Same with everything else on the desk. Just get everything tidied up. Um, that power strip I'm going to leave here. And then this power strip over here. I'm going to move over probably underneath that island, but over here so that I have a power strip on both sides. Uh, this here cable here, I'm going to pull it. That's the one that I used to use to plug in my car in the winter. Yeah. Anyway, right now this computer is turned off. So I'm going to start by getting stuff all taken care of. Ugh. Ugh. This is bad. Okay, so. <sighs> Look at that fan. Jesus. Okay, let's get the compressor going. Surprising enough, the video card wasn't that bad. Just everything else that's gross. I hate this freaking motherboard. Such a piece of shit. There, that looks a lot better than what it did a while ago. Holy. All that dust in there cleaned out the heatsink. Uh, now we just gotta put the video card back into it and uh, button her back up. Oh wait, there's no lid on this one. Who cares? Uh, slowly spinning the desk. Uh, spin it and then I realize there's still a bunch of shit in the way and I gotta stop and grab the shit and restart and... I'm looking for this spray bottle. I wanna make some more concoction for cleaning. But... Uh, <sighs> it's not light. It's not a light desk. And every time I grab it and lift it, she starts trying to come apart because she's cheap IKEA piece of shit. Almost. Almost. Oh man, I'm sweating. Too tired for this. <laughs> uh, let's get after it. Holy shit, that wasn't easy. But it's done. The desk is over there. <sighs> Now I just gotta hook everything back up. <sighs> and get a vacuum, because there's a lot of Oreo in here. And clean up other shit. And there we go, the battle station is all set up. Tested and working. So, I'm freaking tired. <laughs> oh man. Probably didn't help that I drank a bunch of beers last night, too. Gotta live a little, eh? Gotta live a little to enjoy life. Can't take life too seriously, because in the end, you die. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Guys, I just went for a nap, because like I said, I didn't get much sleep last night. And after I moved that desk, I was sitting in my computer chair, thinking, okay, what am I gonna do next? Just yawning away and passing out, and I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna... It was like a plastic case for a hard drive. In the middle of the carpet, it's all chewed up now because one of the animals got to it. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm not even going to fight this feeling. Because if you're tired, a sprig, you might as well just go to bed, right? Don't even, don't even fight it. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. Um, I'm going to let stupid out. To be honest, I'm not even sure what time I went to bed at. I think it was around 3, currently 7, so I got another 4 hours of sleep. So that's pretty good. Let me tell you see what it looks like when you walk in the room now. Like, before I'd walk in the, in the computer room, 
and it just it felt so closed in and it's not roomy and and just kind of shit but now you walk in and it's like you got all this floor space and it looks like everything's far away it's like walking into a gym <laughs> it's pretty crazy and no people i didn't do that to put the exercise equipment upstairs i'm gonna leave it where it is like i said i want to start using my living room and one way to start doing that is by putting stuff downstairs to use downstairs where is he oh he's way down in the yard taking a dump he's taking a poop he's been just maybe i should give him some metamucil i don't know if that's safe for dogs because lately man some of the poops he takes it's like what poop too big for a hole or because he's just out there pressing and pressing and pressing it's not like his diet changes or i feed him table scraps he just gets kibbles kibbles and bits and bits and bits now he gets uh, that chicken soup for the soul that's supposed to be like really holistic and good for dogs but like some of his shits look so freaking stubborn i need to figure out first off let me get this thing off the floor this is that uh oh this is an old S ssd hard drive thingy scammers where'd you get this yeah <laughs> that's why i call her meow face but uh let's show you the room coming up the stairs coming up the stairs first you open the door right looks the same then you walk in and you're like whoa look at all that space I still gotta get this cooler out of here and stuff, but like, so much room for activities now. Like, this is great. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. Sure, turning on the studio lights. Uh, I stuck my Google thing, like right there between the lights. Place for it, works. Now I got a talking lamp. Who else has a talking lamp in this world? Uh, I still gotta get rid of that cooler. Put the airsoft pistol somewhere. The mouse pack when we go in the garbage. I got the garbage still. I got that there extension cord to go out to the garage. But other than that, you know, little bits and pieces around the edges to take care of. And she's beaut and I gotta do something with this corner. This corner here is just like junk galore. Son of a bitch. Oh, and I got some cardboard to go down the stairs too. Well, that, all in all. I really freaking like it. Nice and roomy and, you know, whatever. It's good. It's good. I vacuumed in here. My vacuum's a piece of shit and it picked up some stuff, but not a lot of stuff. And probably gonna have to hit it again. <sighs> I need to buy a Dyson. All right. I've just been sitting around watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and just chilling. Just enjoying life. Enjoying my time off. Okay, so that thing's getting weepy. I don't know, my, the camera at the back of the house there, you know, at the driveway, she's uh, not working. But anyway, I'll have to just power cycle it. It'll link back up. Oh, I know what happened. The IP address changed probably. Oh, fuck. Now i got to figure out what the hell the IP address is and reset that. I really need to assign that one to static. But whatever. Anywho, so everything would have been fine if I didn't have to, uh, if it didn't disconnect the Wi-Fi to move the desk but anyway guys i made myself a steak just a little blade steak 200 grammer nothing fancy just a chunk of meat also having an asian salad because i was willing to try one of these all righty well i just had my dinner and trish and i gotta play some PUBG. it should be pretty good i'm having a good stretch right now it's a good stretch man it feels so good just to be able to walk back here and sit at this computer and not have to go through a freaking maze like like, look at how far my other computer is. Look at this. This is great. All right, guys. Well, we're about to play some PUBG. Look at fucking Church's stupid little hat. Look at that. Look at that stupid little Twitch Prime crate hat. I'm not wearing. I'm wearing Ninja. I'm like all blacked out and like, like, like all blacked out. I'm like stealth mode. And he's got this fucking purple thing on his hat. Jesus, Murphy Church, what's wrong? Oh, hey there, people. We just got done playing PUBG. No, I don't have clips. Sorry, I forgot to hit record. But it was actually would have been awesome if I did because one round I got 10 kills. I, I, I was on par tonight, boys. I figured something out with PUBG. See, a lot of people like to play strategy style, eh? Like, they crouch down, they hide, they wait, they snipe, they kill. But those same people can't handle the game when you play it like an FPS, like Unreal Tournament or Quake, where you just rush in and... Bah! Bah! They, they, they can't. They just they don't know how to react to that. 
So they get all freaky and they start waving their gun around and they go bang bang bang. They shoot the ceiling, they shoot the floor, they shoot the wall, but they don't shoot me and I just friggin' lay into them. Frap, 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 done. Game over. Thanks for coming out, JJ. So uh, that was a good time. Man, it's a different angle, eh? Different angle, because the door's over there. That's the door out of this room. I just love how much space I have now. Like, like I said, I still gotta get that cooler out of here, but whatever. It's just so nice to have all this extra space for space, like, whatever. It's just nice to have this wide open carpet room and sweet. So I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do tomorrow. I might uh, figure out some plans for that uh, monitor, the monitor stand, the laptop stand, because I like to get it off the desk and out of the way and put it somewhere where I can still have it hooked up, still use it, but have that desk space for something else. And I still need to move my PlayStation 4 downstairs, and I still need to order up a battery for the PlayStation 4 controller, because it's not taking a charge, it's shot. So maybe tomorrow we'll do some more stuff, we'll move the PS4 downstairs, and we'll build the monitor stand, I don't know, we'll see what we do. But um, maybe tomorrow I might just do nothing, maybe I might do that on Sunday, I don't know. But thanks for watching, people. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Before I go, I gotta bring up one more thing. I didn't even realize this was a thing until I watched Jugger Nugget's video today. Uh, two YouTubers are apparently gonna have a fight. Uh, some guy named KSI and some other guy named Logan Paul. They're big deals, obviously, because um, they're two heavy hitters on YouTube. But apparently they're gonna have... Like, are they... What are they doing? Like, are they entering the octagon are they gonna have like a ufc fight like is that what's going on here uh i'm gonna say it's ufc because there's some like pro ufc people talking about it here so uh, but the fight will be seen as something to prop up cash on in on their careers so it's, most people are saying this is just uh trying to get their um trying to get their youtube channels to get more views and stuff Everybody took a hit when Adpocalypse happened, and it's hard to make money off of that shit anymore, and these guys know it. These guys know it, but I don't know. Who would you put your money on? Friggin' crazy guy? Or I'm gonna scratch some mad fat records, like, what's really going on? Like, this guy looks like he's ready to eat him. Like, this guy here, he looks, he looks angry. He looks ready to friggin' go. Um, they got, the, I guess this is from the weigh-in. Yeah, this is from the weigh-in. Uh, KSI left, Paul Logan, Logan Paul, sorry, uh, weighing on Friday, so, how much do these guys even weigh, like, they don't even mention that, they're just going on about it, so I don't know, who are you putting your money on, or do you even care, I don't really care, it's just two YouTubers that are really big in the world, probably doing a fake fight on, uh, the internet just to get some publicity going, everybody's trying to grow their channel because, you know, if you think about it, like, back in the day of, like, before Adpocalypse, a channel of 10k getting about 2,000 views was able to make, like, 600 bucks. That's only 10k. These guys probably are sitting in the millions of subs, probably getting billions of views a month, probably making more money than you can shake a stick at, and making a pretty healthy career, probably living big-ass houses and all that other cool shit. Yeah, it's one of those, uh... Now they're not making the money, so now they got to try and bring some sort of a well, money to their channel or some sort of a audience back to their channel. What a better way than to uh, step in the octagon and get bloodied up? I just uh, I don't know. I was actually watching a McJugger Nuggets video tonight, and he's the one who mentioned it. Well, it was McJugger Nuggets, and I checked out the guy that he's been working with, collabing with, trying to get more views. Um, Lance Stewart, pretty good guy. He makes a lot of prank videos, kind of funny stuff, but. Uh, was watching their videos and apparently Lance Stewart's on his way to London to go watch this big fight and yeah I don't know apparently it's gonna be on TV or some shit uh, uh it'll probably be twitch streamed or YouTubed or some nonsense I'm sure if I really care I could find it but I probably don't so anyway people thanks for watching like favorite comment don't forget to subscribe and until next time peace forget